My name is Andres Lopez. I am a second year master's student in chemical engineering and biotechnology. So I studied my bachelor back home in Venezuela in South America. Uh, I did my bachelor also in chemical engineering. Uh, then during my bachelor studies, I did an internship in the food industry. And after I graduated, I actually worked for a year in an engineering consulting firm back home, which, is, which was working with uh, uh, projects related to the oil industry. When you're here at DPFL, um, you're in contact with the best research that is being done right now. It's also a perfect, uh, perfect place to build connect connections for the future, uh, do some networking, because here you are with the scientists that are making, uh, let's say, that are building the future of science. The master in uh, chemical engineering and biotechnology here at the EPFL has a track uh, that allows you to take courses in that in the area of biotechnology. Um, you go from uh, um, molecular and cellular biotechnology to pharmaceutical biotechnology. You also study uh, nanobiotechnology, which is related to biophysics. One of the best courses uh, is the biotechnology lab because you get to really learn and apply a lot of different techniques that are, uh, that are being used in today's research and uh, also in in today's, um, uh, let's say, uh, industry-related activities. So I think the master um, is special in that sense. It really challenges the role of chemical engineers now. I'm currently doing my internship at Merck Sorono, which is uh, one of the biggest biopharmaceutical companies uh, in the world. I'm working on the biotech process science department, which uh, basically is the bridge between the research that is done at Boston, which uh, is the developing of new molecules. And here in Switzerland, they have two production sites. And um, this department that I'm working at uh, designs the process. So these drugs are produced in animal cells and um, we work in the developing of the process uh, to reach, let's say, the commercial production.